The establishment of the Principate. Evaluate the significance of the establishment of the Principate. The establishment of the Principate was crucial to the development of Augustan power over the Roman Empire. The death of Caesar in 44 BC led to Octavian's rise and allowed him to take power for himself. This founded the ferocious Second Triumvirate, which ended after the Battle of Actium. The battle illustrated the effect of propaganda as well as Agrippa's military expertise. The aftermath of the Battle of Actium provided the means to found a new mythology, which helped to ensure further peace by developing Augustus's image and influence over religion. Therefore, the establishment of the Principate was was significant in helping Augustus to achieve what Wallace Hadrio called soul power. The death of Caesar was necessary in allowing Augustus to take the ultimate power since it provided the catalyst for him to take power. In 44 BC, Caesar was assassinated by Brutus and Cassius, who fled Rome according to Apian. Octavian was revealed to be his intended successor according to Eck because he was Caesar's great-nephew, who he adopted himself. Augustus used the funds that were meant for the Parthian campaign and won over the war veterans in Brundisium in order to march on Rome in a state of high treason, according to Edda. Despite this treason, Octavian was rewarded the Imperium and a consulship after he fulfilled the promise that Caesar had made to distribute wealth to the plebeians. As a result of this, after a comet had appeared, this was deemed to be a good omen and Caesar was made a god. He knew how to foster his popularity amongst the people, which scared Caesar's second in command, Mark Antony. This presented the special stroke of luck, according to Edda, for Octavian to be given the Imperium to pursue Antony. Therefore, the death of Caesar provided Octavian with the means to march on Rome, commit treason and pledge his plan for vengeance, winning the popularity of the people, which helped to eventually establish the Principate. The Second Triumvirate helped to establish the Principate since it was the rule of Octavian, Mark Antony, and Lepidus. After a plebiscite, they were given legal power to rule through the Second Triumvirate, which was a vicious time period since prescriptions were implemented. Prescriptions were the rewards given to those who murdered anyone who had a bounty on their head. This proved that Octavian was bloodthirsty in chilling examples, according to Eck, especially when Octavian sent the Republican Cicero to Antony in exchange for money. The epitome of violence was reached when Octavian settled veterans in the countryside whom had started to orchestrate a full rebellion, which was led by Lucius Antony. This ended when Octavian sent Agrippa to the siege of Parisia now Perigia, which was described by Propertius as where Octavian butchered the citizens. Octavian consolidated further power through deals such as the Treaty of Brundisium, which ceded to Octavian the control of the West and Mark Antony the control of the East. This pact was sealed with the marriage of Octavian's sister Octavia to Mark Antony. Octavia, according to Eck, was skilled in diplomacy and helped to establish the Treaty of Tarentum, which prolonged the Triumvirate for four more years. Therefore, the Second Triumvirate was a cruel time period. Violence, as well as treaties, helped to establish Augustan rule and the creation of the Principate. The Battle of Actium was crucial in establishing the Principate and reign of Augustus, since it helped to cement his power and achieve sole authority. With evidence of Antony cheating Octavia, she divorced Antony in 32 BC according to Eck, and Antony took Cleopatra as his lover, or what Eck called the Oriental Paramour. Rumours circulated in the Senate about Antony and Cleopatra's rule and affair, so Antony's imperium was cancelled. This started the Battle of Actium in 31 BC, and Agrippa was dispatched. Proving loyal and most importantly victorious, Agrippa had previously won the siege of Perusia, 
and war against Sextus Pompeius. Agrippa raided the Greek coast and managed to cut off communications and supplies, effectively trapping Antony and Cleopatra in the Bay of Actium. There were reportedly 200 ships. 60 of which were given by Cleopatra, according to Dio. The use of propaganda helped to win the civil war since Octavian achieved systematic denigration of Mark Antony, according to Mollus Hadril. At the end, this caused Cleopatra to flee. Antony accompanied her and their fleet was surrounded, making this not much of a battle, according to Propertius. Propertius. Antony and Cleopatra committed suicide, according to Horace, once they had arrived back in Egypt, and Octavian annexed the realm, annexed Egypt, effectively winning the Second Triumvirate and Civil War. Therefore, with, with the aid of Agrippa and propaganda, Augustus won the Battle of Actia, which helped to importantly establish the Principate. The creation of a new mythology fostered Octavian's image, which helped to found the Principate. He became Princeps, the leading man in Rome. And on his return to the city, he was made Augustus, a title meaning that he was above humanity. A new mythology grew in which Augustus was hailed as triumphant general, savior of citizens and Rome, according to Yavitz. This new image was cemented when Augustus justified his earlier motives in his book, The Res Geste, where all of his previous battles and violent suppressions were in fact displays of righteous vengeance for his uncle Caesar. Quote, he changed images from ferocious tyrant to patapatrie, according to Gibson. Patapatrie means father of the nation. This notion of him as savior of Rome was minted in every coin and in the res geste, he manipulated history in that he saved Rome from a tyranny of a faction. Augustus repaired 82 temples and closed the gates to the temple of Janus to symbolize peace, according to Suetonius. Augustus's image was further illustrated when he was portrayed by Virgil, Horace, and Livy, the writers, poets, and historians of the time, as the savior of Rome and as patron of the arts. This, as a result, fostered the golden age of literature. Therefore, the establishment of the Principate rested upon Augustus's new mythology and image to bring about a peaceful reign. In conclusion, Augustus greatly benefited from events that led up to the establishment of the Principate, since it allowed him to gain authority, autoritas, and power. The death of Caesar won him military power and popular support. The Second Triumvirate consolidated his power through sheer brutality and diplomacy through treaties. The Battle of Actium relied on Agrippa and propaganda to help win the war. A new mythology was created as a result, helping to secure peace and stability. Thus, these very events allowed Augustus to establish the Principate, proving instrumental to the development of his reign. So, thank you for watching.